and we do have a few safety rules um, before we do get started with the free flight part. Uh, it's really important that you do stay re or remain seated throughout the duration of the show. A few of our birds are going to be flying quite close by, in and amongst you actually. And if you're standing up, moving around, or even just throwing your hands up in the air to take a good photo, or standing up to take a photo, um, we can have a few collisions. We can also <coughs> throw a few of the birds off track, and they may end up in a tree, and that could potentially be the end of the show. So we want to avoid that, so yep, you can definitely take pictures. Um, we are going to get started with our first bird here. Um, you'll notice we do reward our birds with um, food, so if you happen to be eating, you just please put that food away for the duration of the show as well, because we don't want them coming over and thinking that your food is a little bit more interesting than ours, even though we do feed them pieces of mice and chicken um, that are raw, and I don't think you guys will be eating that. Um, but we are going to be flying, um, like I said, raptors. And what a raptor is defined as is a bird of prey that captures their food with their very strong, powerful feet. Um, so the first bird we have here is, her name's Iluka. She's um, a white-bellied sea eagle, or a white-breasted sea eagle. And they are the second largest raptor found in Australia. So if you have a look at her feet, they look extremely large. Um, also, when she comes a little bit closer, you'll notice that she has very sharp, hooked um, claws on those feet called talons. So they'll catch their food with those very strong feet, and they'll often kill their prey with those feet. So they have lucky ligaments um, within their feet to help do that. Um, another few things that all these birds have in common is that very hooked beak that you can definitely see clearly on Iluka there. So they'll use that to hook into the flesh of their prey, and then they use their extremely strong neck muscles to tear their prey apart. Um, also, all these birds have extremely good eyesight, so they can spot their prey from quite a far distance. All right, well that was the call of a white-bellied seagull. So it's a very goose-like honk, um, which is an excellent call for these guys because they do hunt um, over water. So you'll often find them around the coastline and shoreline of Australia, around large bodies of water, so um, possibly some inland lakes that are rather large, as well as rivers. We do have a pair that circle around here, um, which have a home on the Brisbane River. So that goose-like honk can travel quite a far away, so over that water, and they can hear each other. Um, obviously from far distances. So they primarily will hunt for fish. So have a look at Iluka's feet. Um, they're very well designed for catching fish or even sea snakes. They even go for sea turtles, drop them from a high distance, crack open the shell and then they can eat that quite easily. Um, but they're very well designed for catching that prey that's a bit slippery and that's found within the water. They don't fully submerge like a lot of birds when they catch their food in the water. They only um, plunge those feet um, into the surface of that water. So she does have very scaly feet. She also only has feathering that ends halfway down those legs, so she's not a booted eagle. Um, that's excellent for preventing any water logging from happening. Because she does look rather large, um, but she's actually only 3.4 kilos. So she is a bird, she does have to be light. Um, oh. Hollow spongy bones, and she's even lighter now. Um, <laughs> yeah, very hollow, hollow spongy bones, and she's basically covered in a lot of feathers and not very heavy at all. And of course, a mammal of that size would be uh, around 15, 20 kilos of weight. They also have quite a short.